purification from impurities. There are three matters in this. The thing to be removed, the means of the removal and the meaning of the removal. That which shall have to be removed is of three kinds. Inanimate objects, inanimate objects and the part of inanimate objects. Animate objects. As to inanimate objects, all are pure except wine and intoxicating things. As to animate objects, all except dogs and pigs and their young ones are pure. When an animal dies, it becomes impure except five. Locust, fish, worms and foodstuffs, dead animals which have no flowing blood like flies, beetles and the like. As to purity from inanimate objects is of two kinds. The first is what is cut off from the animal and the law is the same as that of the dead bodies. Hair is impure, bones however become impure after death. The second is what is changed from entering into the body. They are all impure. What emits from the body, not after change, is pure such as sweat and tear. Things which have a fixed seed and are subject to change are impure such as saliva, mucus of the nose, except the seeds of life like semen, eggs, blood, pus, feces, urine are impure. Nothing is exempted of these impurities except five things. One, the remains of odor after absteration with pebbles are exempted. Whatever cannot be avoided such as mud in the streets and the dust of dung in spite of these in spite of their impurities is exempted. What is attached to the leather socks of impurities of the streets is exempted after it has been wiped against the earth. The blood of fleas and the likes little or much on shirt is exempted because it goes beyond ordinary limits and the blood of itches and pimples is exempted. The means of removal of impurities. The means of removal of impurities are either condensed or liquid things. The condensed or solid things are pebbles of abstraction. Pebbles purify it if it is itself pure and dried. It should be hard, pure, dry and free from illegality. Liquid thing is water which in which impurities are cleansed. Only pure water can remove impurities. The water when mixed with impure things and changes in its color or taste or odor, it becomes impure. The Prophet said when water is sufficient to fill two pitchers, it carries no impurities. If less, it carries impurities and does not remain impure, does not remain pure. This is applicable in case of stagnant water. If flowing water mixes with impure things and does not remain impure, this is applicable in case of stagnant water. If flowing water mixes with impure things and becomes changed, then it becomes impure. Some incidents together with urgent need and necessity strengthen the belief that only change in water was taken into consideration by the Prophet. The following words of the Prophet supported, Water was created pure and nothing makes it impure except the things that change its color, taste and smell. Manner of removing impurities if the impurity is not a matter of touch, it is sufficient to run water over all its parts. If impurity is physical, it should be removed. If its taste remains, it indicates persistence of physical matter. The same is true for the persistence of color. If it sticks, it is exempted, provided it is thoroughly rubbed. If the taste persists, the persistence of the physical matter is perceived. Jazakallah khair wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.